Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important problem from inverse trigonometric functions, right? So here uh, we are given an expression that is the lambda pi square is equal to sine inverse x square minus cos inverse x square where x and lambda belongs to the set of real numbers then we have to find the range for uh, this uh, parameter uh, lambda, right? So uh, here uh, what we will do, uh, we'll uh, make use of some properties of inverse trigonometric functions uh, to find out the range of uh, lambda, right? So let us uh, assume that the range of uh, lambda, that is lambda belongs to uh, the interval say a comma b, right? So we have to find uh, the value of a and uh, b. So let us start. So let us start with this expression that is uh, lambda pi square is equal to sine inverse x square minus cos inverse x square. So let us uh, utilize uh, the identity that is a square minus b square where a is sine inverse x, b is cos inverse x. So a square minus b square may be written as a minus b, a plus b, right? So a minus b is simply sine inverse x minus cos inverse x and a plus b is sine inverse x plus uh, cos inverse x, right? Now, uh, from the inverse trigonometric functions, uh, we know that sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 for all x belonging to the set of real numbers, right? And moreover, uh, we can also write cos inverse x as pi by 2 minus uh, sine inverse x. So, let us... Uh, uh, utilize these two expressions. So here uh, we have sine inverse x and then uh, cos inverse x can be replaced by pi by 2 uh, minus sine inverse x and then uh, here uh, sine inverse x plus cos inverse x may be taken as pi by 2, right? So we have lambda pi square is equal to this expression. Let us uh, simplify it. So we have sine inverse x, then minus pi by 2, minus and minus it becomes plus. So here we have sine inverse x and here we have pi by 2, right? Now this pi and this pi get cancelled. So we uh, are left with lambda pi is equal to sine inverse x plus sine inverse x is 2 sine inverse x and then we have minus pi by 2 and we can take half over here, right? So now let us uh, multiply these two numbers by uh, 1 over 2. So here 2 and 2 get cancelled and we have here sine inverse x and here we have minus pi by 4, right? Okay, now let us take minus pi by 4 to the left hand side. So we have uh, lambda pi plus uh, pi by 4 is equal to uh, sine inverse x, right? So this is an important expression and uh, now I uh, will make use of the concept of range of uh, sine inverse x, right? See, we know that sine inverse x belongs to the interval that is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right? The principal branch of uh, sine inverse x is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So we can also write uh, this expression as uh, sine inverse x lies between uh, minus pi by 2 and here we have pi by 2, right? So here we have the equality sign because uh, uh, this interval is closed from uh, both the sides. So now let us substitute this value of sine inverse x uh, in this inequality, right? So we have minus pi by 2, then we have uh, lambda pi plus pi by 4, and then here we have pi by 2, right? 
now uh, let us subtract pi by 4 uh, throughout so we have minus pi by 2 minus pi by 4 and then here we have lambda pi and here we have uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 4 because this pi by 4 get cancelled when we subtract uh, pi by 4 uh, throughout right so here uh, we can uh, subtract these two quantities so we have minus 2 pi minus pi here we have lambda pi here we have 4 and 2 pi minus pi right so this is minus 3 pi by 4 then we have lambda pi and here we have pi over uh, 4 right now see pi appears uh, in all these three expressions so we can uh, divide throughout by pi so that we can get rid of this uh, number pi so now we have minus 3 over 4 less than or equal to lambda and here we have 1 over 4 right so this is our required uh, range for uh, lambda and we can easily see that uh, uh, lambda lies between minus 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 including uh, these two extreme uh, points right so the uh, range or the interval uh, to which this lambda belongs is uh, uh, minus 3 by 4 uh, to 1 by 4 right so the value of a is uh, minus 3 by 4 and the value of b is uh, 1 by uh, 4 right so where's this is how uh, by making use of the concept of inverse trigonometric functions so we can solve these kind of problems